Hey guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com and in this beautiful tutorial, we are going to learn how to use accordion element of Elementor plugin and even we'll learn one more element that is toggle. Both are almost almost same. So we'll learn the setting of accordion and then we'll learn a small difference between these two and the rest things are almost almost same. So let's get started. Now go to the search bar, there you will find accordion. For that you have to type A double C O R D I O N. So you will get this option. You have to drag it and drop in this area. So once your accordion get dropped there, you will find two of the sections. Section 1, section 2 like accordion 1, accordion 2. You can create more sections like you click on add item and there you will find accordion 3 or accordion title. Okay, you have to write the accordion title here. So I'll make it as section third for our understanding. For this one, I'll make it as section two. And this one, I'll make it as section one. You can duplicate it from this option. If you want to delete, you can click here to make it delete. So I'll click here to make it collapse again. You can add more numbers items. So in the accordion, we have options. Let's say if, if this one is active, rest two will be close let's say if I, if I open this one means rest 2 will be closed so first one first option we have in the accordion is icon you can select the icon from this uh, we are using plus or minus icons okay so you can select the accordion item from this let's say I'm selecting this item let's say insert this this is the icon we are using for uh, our accordion and for active icon is denoted as minus so we'll change it to something i'll click here icon library and i'll go to all icons so you can select the icons from here this minus will be perfect one i guess uh, so insert so this is like looking minus and uh, open for this one and next these two uh, option is discussed now we have title html tag so for title HTML tag, we always recommend people to choose as S4 or H6. Between these three things, you can go ahead because it's a title. It always should be between H4 to H6 title. It's not main heading so that uh, if it's main heading, we'll go for H1. It's not main heading. So I always recommend to you to choose between this one. You can even select div tag but i guess div tag is not recommended as per seo my knowledge so i'll make it h4 and i'll click update this is basically for title tag we are doing i'll go to the website and i'll refresh it okay and if i'll right click here and i'll say inspect you'll see this section this section is in div class now okay this section is in this diff class because it's a paragraph but the heading section one is in h4 see here you can see h4 here is a diff class this one is inside diff class and this is the heading that's why it should be inside heading title okay now we'll go back next option here we have a style so i'll click on style so you can manage the border width of the accordion so if you, you can increase the border width and now you can change the color of the border depending upon the border you 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 can maintain border according to your uh, logo style so it will be more perfect and uh, it will match your design or you can match it with the background of the website but next option we have is the title background color you can select any of the color i guess this is the perfect one this is basically for the titles then we have icons then we have content this is this is for the title title we are not changing it for content this is content and the icon is this one and title is this one okay so color for uh, title we want is as blue okay so we'll change it to some other color i guess this is okay and then active color the section this is this is the color which is for everything okay and for active color means the, the section which is active now let's say our first section one is active so i'll click here and i'll make it to green okay the section which is active will be green the section which is not active will be in red okay next we have topography we can change the font family of the text item we are using 
you can uh, font family as arial or times roman it's all up to you and the size of the title you can manage from here then we have weight of the title you can manage it with uh, this option okay next we have transform it to upper case or uh, next we have transform option means you can uh, transform it to lower uh, case or the upper case or capitalize let's say i want the section as a upper case so it will be always there in the upper case however you write you write it as in the lower case it will be it will automatically come to upper case because you have selected by default title as a upper case okay next we have style in the style you can make it italic bold normal so you can select the style how it should be next we have options of decorations underline overline line through you can make it underline next we have line height and in the line height you can manage the height between two contents the width of the line so this is the line and this height is line height okay so if we we'll increase the height you you are going to see that this line is going to increase let's say the height is in 60 pixel i I'm, instead of using in em i clicked on uh, pixel it says 60 i'll use my ruler and this is the chrome extension you can download it from the google and you start measuring from this point till this point and you'll see that height is approximately equals to 62 so this is my approximation you can uh, measure it accordingly to you use and you put the pixel there approximately say 60 or 50 like that and it will automatically adjust the spacing between two of the lines okay next we have letter spacing letter spacing is a space between two letters so this is basically for the title so it will maintain the space between these letters okay so whatever the spacing you want you can fix it depending upon your website need next i'll cancel this like this one is done next we have padding padding is first option we have link all together and link differently if you'll we'll click here it will get link differently let's say uh, i'll i'll write here one means only one will be added to top section or if i'll write 10 Then padding will be added from the top. If I'll add right twenty, twenty padding will be added from right side. If I add thirty, that will be added from left side. Okay. But if I say together, that means ten, ten, ten for everything. You can maintain the padding means gap from this side, from top. How much gap it should maintain from top, right, left. Everything you can manage from padding. Okay. Next option we have icons. By clicking on the icon, you can maintain the alignment, color, and active color and the spacing for this particular option. First option we have alignment. Inside that end, it will go this side. And if you want from start, you can start it from this side. Next we have icon colors. You can select any of the icons color depending upon your requirements. Next for active color, icon should be something. different select something different for it next we have a spacing a spacing we'll manage from the distance between the text and that icon it will manage spacing so you can take it in the center it will come at 100% it will be inside the center of the section so i'll take it this side next we have content content is what that we already talked the thing which is inside this one is content so we'll manage the background color of the content something like this okay we'll manage color of the content next same we have options of typography same thing again i have to do so i'm skipping now for padding also you can maintain left right top bottom next we'll click on advanced option now inside advanced option we have margin and padding so for better understanding of the margin and padding i want to create one more section here let's say add one section and here add something okay now if you click here and if you want to give a margin let's say if i hover there you can see the margin from this to this there is some distance right so let's give some margin from bottom 100 so there's a gap between these two increases 
ओके इफ आई से पैडिंग हंड्रेड मीन्स द फ्रेम विच इज देयर इन साइड दिस इज द फ्रेम ओके फ्रॉम हेयर इट विल गो हंड्रेड अपोजिट साइड ओके फ्रॉम बॉटम इट्स वेट हंड्रेड अप सो लेट्स रिमूव दिस एंड यूल सी दैट इट मेंटेन अ गैप ओके अगेन कम टू द पोजिशन यू कैन सी इट फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड ऑल्सो लेट्स से गिव हंड्रेड दिस इज द बॉक्स एंड इट मेंटेनिंग हंड्रेड आई होप यू गॉट द पैडिंग एंड नाउ लेट्स से इफ दिस इज आर गैप ओके फॉर द मार्जिन वी हैव वन हंड्रेड सो आई मेक इट माइनस वन हंड्रेड वन हंड्रेड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज मूविंग अप एंड इट्स गेटिंग ओवरलैप्ड ओवर दिस वन ओके यू कैन सी हेयर लेट से आल आल गिव वन फिफ्टी इट्स गेटिंग ओवरलैप्ड ऑन दिस वन ओके सो नाउ फॉर यू बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग विल लर्न मार्जिन एंड पैडिंग फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर इमेज लेट से दिस इज द बॉर्डर ऑफ आर एलिमेंट विच वी आर यूजिंग सो लेट्स गो टू द वेबसाइट एंड इफ यू से हॉवर देन यू कैन सी दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉक्स ओके दिस इज वॉट दिस इज आवर आउटर फ्रेम सो वील गो टू द इमेज दिस इज आर आउटर फ्रेम इफ इफ वी शिफ्ट आर बॉक्स और वॉट इज द एलिमेंट वी आर यूजिंग इन साइज टू वर्ड द सेंटर देन द स्पेस गिवेन बिटवीन दम इज पैडिंग लेट से इफ यू शिफ्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉक्स अप टू वर्ड अप लेट से इफ यू ब्रिंग दिस बॉक्स टिल दिस पार्ट यू आर गिविंग टॉप मार्जिन पैडिंग कैनॉट टेक यू आउट ऑफ द फ्रेम ओके फॉर दैट यू हैव टू एड मार्जिन I hope you got the point. So let's go back to the website. Let's give three hundred minus three hundred, and you can see text is coming on the accordion. But if you want to learn Z indices, I'll discuss a separate video for almost all the advanced setting in one video. But for Z indices, I'll create a separate video. That link you'll find in the description box. Just for understanding, I'm making a small description here. but you'll find a separate video for all the things uh, in the description box so for z in this is you can see the first option is on the top let's say if i give value 2 to this one then value 1 to this one okay if i give value for this one z in this is as 2 and i'll click on this and i'll give a z in this is as 1 you can still see you you are able to see the text here i want to explain you that if the z indices value is more means it will create overlapping of the things let's say let me make it 3 okay i'll make it 3 you're not able to see the text which is just behind this box so if you want to know better let's say decrease the margin as 150 okay let's make it uh, 250 Still, we are unable to see that, so I'll make it 200 minus 200, and you can see half part is just behind this thing. So you are able to create a overlapping of the thing. So for better understanding, I'll teach you in separate video. It's just a example I'm giving you to understand. And rest topic you'll find in the separate video. So now, guys, here only we learn one more similar. element that is toggle so i'll go down and i'll say select the structure and i'll click on add there i'll say toggle select the toggle and drop in the area where you want i just want to show you the difference between toggle and accordion so almost almost they both are similar in feature except the thing if you'll click here the both are open here if you'll click one the rest two will be closed and one will be open if you close one doesn't mean that this one will also get closed so you have to close this one you have to open once means that will be open here the difference is like once you open this one rest two will be closed if i open this one rest two will be closed so this is the only difference between toggle and accordion so i'm not going to create a separate tutorial for uh, toggle element so i hope you find this video useful if you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you